in the U.S. of A. <laughs> uh, anyway, forgive me. I've been on drugs the past several days, and uh, it kind of messed up my stomach, and I've just been blah, this uh, infection or whatever just messed me up, so I'm a little bit late on the video. Sorry about that. Um, but anyway, uh, let's take a look at Bitcoin, because that's our big question. Where are we going, and what's going on? Um, one thing I want to say is that uh, with the news of BitMEX, which is very bad, you know, reading it, you know, this wasn't the CFTC who's taking action against BitMEX. It's the Department of Justice. Like, what the fuck? Now, in my view, they don't have jurisdiction, and this is really, uh, I hope they fight them in the courts because, um, they're basically going after crypto in a you know the Department of Justice is now going after crypto companies and I don't think they're going to stop with um, Bitmex I think they're going to go on to other ones uh, though you know I, I said that the way Bitmex had acted in the past is not going to prove to their favor and sure enough there we go uh, the government of the United States is going after them but I, I think they're doing it for uh, reasons just because they don't like crypto and they're going after crypto in general and uh, I can't wait till the election less than 30 days 28 I think today uh, and Trump's got to go uh, he's the uh, such a big idiot um, and uh, the future needs to happen we need to get away from these people that are relegated to the past but that's my own opinion uh, other than that Let's take a look at the statistics, because I don't care about anything else but the numbers. Now again, I stated, and uh, this is something that would be counterintuitive, most people wouldn't be looking for this, that we're going to be attracted to going up to this level up here, right, for fifth wave. And I'm looking for the thirteen to 14,000 area as the next move up. Uh, Bitcoin has shown a an incredible amount of resilience considering that we had the news on um, BitMEX and how the Department of Justice weird is going after them um, now this is a criminal uh, you know case now so that's kind of really messed up they, they got them as if they're like terrorists or something and they're not they're just uh, an exchange <laughs> so what the F uh, very odd times that we live in but we have plenty of possibilities. We can still go down. And yeah, if we go back down to the under 9,800 level, I'm going to be looking to start buying 10% and hedging off because I'm still looking for this area up here, even on a drop. Uh, or we could just go up here and then continue upwards to this level up here. This is statistically what's most likely. I don't have a choice in uh, what I want or what I think is going to happen. If I looked at what I think is going to happen, I would think for us to just go down. Uh, maybe we can go down early under the 8,000 mark. Once this happens, then I flip completely and I go um, uh, no more shorts, no more looking for downside. Then I just basically hold and look for upside numbers. And I trade probably, uh, I'll move more cash to the crypto market and start um, uh, trading to the upside looking for only upside moves uh, so once this happens uh, it's all over it's just wait for the all-time highs which are going to be well above the 20k level and then hey then we'll go for the 60s and 80s and then we'll look for that ultimately above a hundred thousand and there are numbers that go far far above that statistically that uh, we could get to but that's the future, and I'm in no rush, and I can take all the way for another year or so, who you knows, but uh, until we ultimately get that move. there After we hit this level, we can get a period of um, flatness where nothing happens for a while, and then the move up. What, but that's up to the, the, the you know, up to uh, the charts. I, I don't get to decide that. Um, but there are statistics after this, these things happen here um, of what type of price action could occur in the future. And that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. But I've got my plan in place. And again, you know, I'd like things to go down short term, get to that 9,800 and under number. And then before we make the move up here and uh, 
and then the move all the way back down here. So I'm looking for a decent period of volatility, uh, how that plays out up to the market. But those are the statistics here and here. Those are my main focuses. And short term, we're down here. And also for the next few months, maybe up to here. Uh, so we'll see how that plays out. I mean, Bitcoin has acted very strong, like I've stated. Uh, so um, we'll see. But there, are, let's go on to the next one. Um, yep, 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 yep. What is interesting? Interesting, Nicola. And this is one I'd love to short, but I, I don't have any, um, there's no reality to this stock. Uh, I believe it's going to crash and there's it's a fake company and it's gonna go to zero or near zero at some point. Um, so we'll see, but I'm not putting anything on it because it's there's it's just too many unknown variables. Who knows? I think it's a joke, but uh, I, and that could go to zero. But um, who cares? I'm not going to try to guess. Uh, Tesla, um, Tesla again, still overvalued. Uh, nothing to do here. Um, holding shorts, reshorted here and here. And uh, it went up all the way up to here. Uh, I would like to short if it gets to 500 or above and creates this pattern here. That would be great. If not, um, that's fine too. Maybe just look for uh, the coming months for it to drop all the way down to the under 200 level. Remember, again, this is on a forward earnings basis this is ridiculously overvalued and not by a, a, a high margin uh, it's overvalued by many times um, so they would have to uh, it, it would take them years it would take them three years uh, or more not, not even it would take them longer than that to get to uh, realize this value even with their new technology and that's providing everything goes perfectly uh, so it, it's just, you know, uh, they're priced for five, uh, over five years in the future. Uh, if, and that's just not normal. Uh, but we live in strange times where winners are uh, overpaid and losers are crushed. Um, an example of this are the banks and so forth. They're going to make record profits and, and money. Um, in some instances with the economy faltering and people don't realize that and certain billionaires are cashing in it's like crazy but the problem is that what happens to the bottom tier of the economy right you have people that are losing their jobs and going bankrupt getting evicted from their homes um, it's really kind of fucked up if you, you think about it and our government is so screwed up here um, they can't even support the people with uh, uh, a stimulus package just to scraps and that's all the stimulus packages for the American people scraps uh, instead the money goes flowing to the these billionaires who don't need it and it's it's really sad but that's um, a, a future reckoning that will uh, occur and uh, let's see what interesting other thing oh you know beyond me I, I know that's a long-term hold it's not really anything for me to to look at, but people are into it and whatnot. Uh, we had that big move up to the 70 area up here. Created some sticks, so there's some short term. It could go all the way back down to here. This is possible down to 44. But again, I, I don't really even care about the charts on this. I just know I see this a lot more in the stores and. Uh, I think that you're going to probably see this one go above its highs and higher in the future, in the coming year or years, and we'll see what that you know happens there. Now another one is silver. Uh, if you guys were to watch what happened with silver, um, we had J.P. Morgan fined almost a billion dollars again by the Department of Justice, not even by the CFTC. So we live in some weird times. The CFTC isn't even taking action against banks, but the Department of Justice is. Uh, what? So the roles of these uh, government agencies are uh, 
circum it's really it's bizarre we're circumspect in, in this we're not uh, this is not normal times but whatever anyway uh, it went under 23 and I started buying again and these two levels and I've got buy orders that go down to 20 21 and I'll buy it all the way down to 18 um, so it hit these two uh, rebought here and I'm looking again for numbers that go all the way back above the mid 30s so I'm looking for this here you go so we are focused on that right there and I'm sure that makes sense I've only repeated this a bazillion times um, this was you know a great long-term hold and uh, historically <laughs> statistics every time the government floods the uh, money into the economy, inflation's going to hit, and you know gold prices are all, always go up, uh, and gold and silver always go up a period of time after the effects of this have happened. It's only been uh, over six months, so um, that so it's to come, and uh, so uh, a move above here very likely, and it's going to be a good return. I don't know what to say. Uh, notwithstanding the JP Morgan manipulation, you know, they don't even care anymore. They just, oh, you find us a billion, that's fine. Yeah, we made hundreds of billions on trades, the spoofing and the manipulation in the market. But, you know, hey, keep finding us and go fuck yourselves because, uh, you know, basically we can do what we want. We're bankers and um, we're too big to fail and, you know, find us. You know, unlike BitMEX, who, you know, they go to jail, right? So that, that shows you the disparity in justice, and it's it's pretty sad. Um, but that's that's life. What can you do? Uh, the U.S. government is against crypto, and is now using the Department of Justice to go over and go after um, the crypto field in a asymmetrical warfare kind of way, kind of from the sides. Uh, so you go after the exchanges uh, and that are popular and whatnot. Uh, so. Next up, what do we what do we have? We got Tesla, AMD. Again, that's a long term hold. Nothing to do. Uh, we're meandering around in the eighty range, and uh, yeah, I mean we could go all the way back down to here, but ultimately I like this as a long term play because of their technology. And technology, if you noticed, um, people are buying computers because of the fact that everybody's stuck at home. So that's where we are right now with that, and. Um, and then my short, I mean, my longs on um, uh, CBX, uh, Chevron, I'm a buyer, uh, and so forth. Uh, and I'm looking for the above 80 mark, this area right here. We take this line and we just revert it to a red line. Then uh, you know where we are, and it can go all the way up to that previous 38% level, which is right here around the 83. So that's my ultimate target, I guess you can say, if that makes sense. And that's why I'm buying it as it goes lower. So, uh, uh, you know, um, and that's basically it. Uh, there's nothing to do. I started under 75, and I bought it as it's gone down. And I'll buy more. I've got another buy order at 68. And, uh, Ultimately, I'm looking to sell it above 80 and ultimately around that 84, 83 as the final exit where I would exit all of it. Um, so that's basically it for the update. You know what, what I think on Bitcoin. I hope all of this kind of makes sense to you. And again, it's all statistics. I don't care uh, about, you know, uh, up, down, or down and then up. Uh, Ultimately, you know, uh, you know the big picture. Once it hits this right here, I am nothing but a pure long, and I'll probably be holding, you know, positions unless I see something that is a sell pattern. I won't let go of any of it. Uh, it would have to be a, you know, have to be a, a clear sell pattern. And then after the sell pattern would extinguish itself, I would then look to buy it back. So we'll, I'll play it by ear and whatnot, but I'm not going to be, once this and under happens, I'm not going to be looking to really sell anything beyond that. You know my game plan. 
So I'm not going to repeat myself. But uh, all right, you guys have a great week, and I will see you next week. All right, bye.